Okay, now that's a real music. Do 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 do. Yeah, since I'm taking a look at a lot of movie games as of late, I might as well talk about a very big one here in the Tokugawa 16 family. And family. Yeah, who can forget that awesome movie starring Ryu Julia and Christopher Lloyd? So, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, alright, this is the Adams Family video game. Am I playing as Goldman Adams? Am I playing as Uncle Fester? You know, just like in Fester's Quest? Nope. <laughs> you're playing as the family lawyer. The evil family lawyer that's trying to steal all the money from the Adams family. I'm not like Phoenix Wright or anything. I'm Carla's evil ex-husband. <laughs> you know, the chick from Cheers? Why are we playing as a freaking lawyer here? You're probably not going to be too impressed when you first play this game. <laughs> We're avoiding golf balls here for Christ's sake. But still, I got a magical umbrella here. Lots of creepy monsters to fight. What's not to like? <laughs> and you do take a lot of cheap hits. Again, if that umbrella was a good defensive attack too, as well as offensive, Maybe I would bump out my score a bit, but no. <laughs> like the umbrella itself, it's a very interesting weapon. <laughs> if you think about it. You know, those bright little kids and parasol stars, they use an umbrella. And it can be used as a defensive attack. And then you think of that little dork in <laughs> what, Samurai Showdown 3? You know, the new character everybody hated. He uses umbrella as like a samurai sword. And yeah, he looks like a complete gimp, but still, <laughs> it's an interesting weapon. Here, it just shoots out a whole bunch of stars. But no, honestly, it's still a pretty awesome weapon, too. And you have the ability to transform and use more powerful umbrella magic as well. Yeah, this game is already a lot more fun than Jack Nichols and Turbo Golf. Crap! Not an easy game by any means. There's also some melee combat in here too, especially when you face Goldman Adams. <laughs> I don't like about this game is that enemies really home in on you. It really reminds me of that boss and tailspin that throws the snowballs at you. They're very hard to avoid. <laughs> so hopefully you just gotta be lucky. But yeah, there's not too much to enemy patterns here. When you fight Wednesday Adams here, she just throws a whole bunch of junk at you. And speaking of junk, there's an 8-bit Nintendo. <laughs> I don't know, why can't I fight Sega Genesis? <laughs> so we're still in the kids' allowance money. And this is our hero, everybody. It's Uncle Fester himself. <laughs> Shit. What I don't like about this game sometimes is that you lose a lot of health and a lot of bullshit ways. <laughs> Shit, no! <laughs> Tully here, he's a pretty big target. Alright. They don't really attack me. <laughs> no, that was pointless. <laughs> I 
Let me guess. Shit! <laughs> Problem is, there's not a lot of ways to refill your health again. And that's what made this game difficult. Come on, hurry up. I gotta go work later. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I love you guys. I can't destroy this enemy either. Ah! <laughs> I hate it in games when you face an enemy and you can't destroy them. Void alerts there. Lucky there, I'm chewing at him, but no, I can't beat him. Oh, not one of these stupid runes again. Why am I fighting Doctor Insane out here? Yeah, that's a Spoonie One reference if you don't get it. Yeah, look at that. Before they were really giving me a real headache, but now I can defeat him easily. <laughs> Die Nintendo! Your outdated 8 bit technology. The TurboGrafx 16 is real 8 bit technology. <laughs> uh, both great systems, though. That was fun, Mr. Alfred. I hope we have the chance to do it again sometime. We did do it again! The problem is, if you make one wrong move in this game. <laughs> It's possible to go all the way back to the start. Alright, I think it's a new level. Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> Darn it, I was just warning you about that. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, Alan Stanley here for a Turbo CD. It's okay, you know, it's nothing special at all. The graphics could have been way better. I wish during the full motion scenes that, <laughs> you know, I actually had video from the movie. Just some small clips or something, not still images. Again, there could have been much more effects added to the game. Like, look at those lights on the wall there. They don't flicker on and off. Just very bland sometimes. But still, the game is colorful. There's a lot of interesting scenes in the game. To give the, you know, Adam's Family Mansion that creepy atmosphere it's well known for. Alright. And once you discover a new room with a new bunch of secrets, it can be a lot of fun. So if you see the iron suddenly out there, give it a chance. It's not too bad. Some of the music is good. Some of it is well acted and all. Even though it's not the original actors from the movie itself. So disappointed that Ryu Julia is not in this. Of course! He deserves to be in this. In fact, I think Ryu Julia would have been the perfect main character for this game, but Toilet? Toily the lawyer? Tooley. Tooley. Or Toily or Tooley or what the hell his name is. Either way, it's stupid. Alright. You want some of this? Yeah. Even Thing there is worth a whole bunch of money. Okay, I give the Ants Handley here for TurboGrafx CD a 59 out of 100. Again, just shooting around and jumping, it's not terribly exciting. And the graphics and music could have been a lot better. Yeah, you gotta love the music to this game. It's pretty much the only reason <laughs> that I put this on the Turbo CD. There's some scenes in here where the music is just awesome. There are scenes where it's just plain static. Not the bees! 
Not the bees! Ah! And finally, still a very fun game if you give it a chance. Whoa, crap! <laughs> Okay, this is Star Soldier, over and out. All right, let's destroy the Nintendo one more time. It's the Adam family, do 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 do.